Hello friends, in this session we will see some examples on controllable canonical form and observable canonical form. Let's begin. So now let us take some examples on controllable canonical form and observable canonical form. Here everything will become very very crystal clear. Don't worry. Right? Yes. Let us take the first example. Let me consider the first transfer function t of s is equal to let us say if the transfer function is s plus 3 upon s squared plus 3s plus 2. Now you are expected to find the CCF and OCF of the same. How do you do that? Let us see. Yes. For CCF, if I think of, let me try to find A matrix. What will be that A matrix? Now, you please tell me, what will be the order of the system, order of the matrix? It will be 2. Why? Because characteristic equation, which is there, this is the characteristic equation, right? Its order is 2, which means A matrix should also have order of 2 cross 2. Finished. That is right. Yes, sir. That is right. Now, we know that we always start with yes. 0 1 0 so let me have 0 first then I will have this one right now after that yes is this the last row of the matrix yes definitely so in order to find the last row we take the reverse of this and we negate it reverse this and negate so if you see the first one that you see is going to be plus 2 so plus 2 so I will get here minus 2 then the next coefficient that you have is 3 so I am going to get minus 3 here it is so simple so damn simple right now let us try to find B yes we have already seen that if it is CCF if it is CCF let me take the blue yes we have already seen that if it is CCF right if it is CCF then the B matrix which is there only the last state will be controlled by the B matrix so last state will be controlled and rest is going to be 0 this is also fine now let us think of c matrix c matrix if you see c matrix how is c matrix c matrix is formed by yes if you think of c matrix yes go in the reverse direction but in the numerator now and do not change the sign let me write don't change the sign that is what we have seen now you please see here what is the value of b naught here b naught is going to be 0 why because it is a strictly proper transfer function it is strictly proper transfer function the moment it is strictly proper transfer function which means if the denominator is having s squared which means numerator should also have s squared but in the numerator do i have s squared here no s squared is not there the moment s squared is not there the variable with that is going to be b naught so that b naught is also 0 right so we don't need to worry about it now what is the shortcut in case of strictly proper transfer function very simple just go in the reverse way and don't change the sign that's it so the first term that you get is 3 and the next term that you get is 1 right this is 1 so simple right now what about d what about d matrix yes d matrix is going to be zero why because in d what we have is b naught and since it is a strictly proper transfer function b naught is going to be zero moment b naught is zero here i am going to have zero this is the controllable canonical form now what i am also expected to find i am expected to find ocf as well let us try to find that so for ocf we know for ocf let me change the color yes if I think of OCF, if I think of OCF, we know that yes, A OCF is nothing but A CCF transpose, right? Similarly, B OCF is equal to what? It is equal to C CCF transpose. Similarly, C OCF is equal to what? C B CCF transpose and D is going to be D. That is what we know. So, let us try to find A OCF. So, A is going to be what yes everything here is going to be OCF down side is OCF upper side is CCF so if you think of A A is going to be transpose of this one transpose of this CCF this is CCF so transpose of this is 
first of all let us understand what is the meaning of transpose right transpose means what transpose let me write down transpose means what transpose means what interchange rows and columns transpose means what interchange rows and columns right yes so the moment i interchange rows and columns means here the first row which is there is now going to become first column here so here it is going to become this first row will become first column so it becomes 0 1 am i right similarly similarly if you think of this one the second row second row will become second column here so second column is what yes minus 2 minus 3 that's it now after that if you think of b what is b here if you think of b what is b here b will be what c transpose so what is c this is my c so b is equal to c transpose so transpose of c is going to be this way so this row will become this column so this becomes 3 and 1 that's it similarly if you think of c c right so if you think of c c is equal to what c observable is what b controllable transpose so this one has to be transpose so this is first column so first column is going to become first row so this first column is 0 this becomes 1 that's it similarly what is d if you think of d d is going to be 0 the same 0 because they are equal that is the thing so this first example is easily solved now let us think of another example yes let me take second transfer function again we are expected to find ccf and ocf right how to find them very simple let us think of ccf first in ccf a matrix we know now what is the order of the system 3 right so if order of the system is 3 this is going to become 3 cross 3 matrix we know that so the first one is 0 1 0 and we are going to have 0 0 1 the last row last row will be will be what reverse of this denominator and negate it reverse of this denominator and negate it so this is 1 so 1 becomes here minus 1 then this is plus 3 so plus 3 becomes minus 3 then this is plus 2 this plus 2 becomes minus 2 it's very simple now let us think of b matrix b matrix in case of b matrix we know that since i am talking about controllable canonical form which means this controllability matrix b the last one has to be 1 the rest are going to be 0 that is also done let us think of c matrix c matrix if you see c matrix is what now see here you please tell me whether it is a strictly proper transfer function or it is a proper transfer function if you see here the degree of the denominator is 3 and degree of the numerator is 1 so the moment they are different what we have understood is that it is going to be a strictly proper transfer function it is a strictly proper transfer function right yes so now when i say that it is a strictly proper transfer function which means b naught is which means b naught is as it is zero right so if no need to take care about it so in such a case the shortcut is what shortcut is simple take the reverse and don't change the sign don't change the sign which means here if i have two then let us take two first then next if i have one then let me take one first and then i don't have anything here so it is going to be zero as simple as that right now let us think of d matrix yes d matrix is going to be zero why because in place of d matrix we have always b naught and it is zero right now let us try to find ocf for the same let me consider this space for ocf observable canonical form observable canonical form is what this a in the observable canonical form is nothing but transpose of controllable canonical form right so if i make the transpose of this one 
let us see what happens this first row will become first column which means 0 1 0 right similarly similarly if you think of the second row second row will become second column so second row will become second column what is second column 0 0 1 because this is 0 0 1 similarly the third row third row will be also transposed so this row becomes this column so let us start so this is minus 1 minus 3 minus 2 so minus 1 minus 3 minus 2 it is very simple right now let us think of b matrix if you see b matrix b matrix is going to be transpose of c matrix transpose of c of ccf so ccf is what ccf is this c of ccf is this so transpose of this will come here so it is going to become 2 1 0 this row will become this column right now let us think of c this is the c matrix we already know that since it is OCF then it is going to only observe the last state the rest is going to be zero still if you don't agree with me you can just do the same thing that C of OCF is going to be CCF B transpose right so if you take transpose of this one you you are going to get the same 0 0 1 agreed now let us think of D D is going to be zero why because it is strictly proper transfer function no problem or we can say because this d is 0 this d is also 0 that was the second example now yes let me think of third example third example if you see transfer function is equal to s squared plus 2s plus 1 divided by s squared plus 2s squared plus 4s plus 3 right yes let us try to find it the s cube sorry yes how much is the order of the system third order right now let us first find ccf to find ccf what we do is a since it is third order so it is going to be 3 cross 3 matrix now we know that for ccf it is always 0 1 0 0 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 and the last row will be decided by the denominator so the last row is decided by the denominator so what we do here we go in a reverse way we go in a reverse way and we negate the signs negate the signs so here if i have plus 3 i am going to start with minus 3 if i have here plus 4 then i am going to write minus 4 if i have here plus 2 then i am going to write minus 2 it is that simple now let us think of b matrix b matrix if you see you already know that we are talking about a controllable canonical form which means it is only going to control the last state rest are going to be zero so it is going to be zero zero one right similarly if you think of c matrix how to get the c matrix here yes to get c matrix what we do is we take this as reverse we take we go in reverse direction for the numerator and we do not change the sign don't change sign i am writing it again and again but you will understand it no problem don't change sign so if i don't change sign here the first one that i get is one now see here this is very important because you need to check for c and d you need to check whether it is a strictly proper function or a proper transfer function here if you see order of the denominator is three and degree of the numerator is two right degree of the numerator is two degree of the denominator is three so this indicates that it is a strictly proper transfer function the moment it is a strictly proper transfer function which means b naught is going to be zero b naught is going to be zero that directly tells you that d is also going to be zero anyways so if you think of this first one so this is going to become here one because we are not supposed to change the sign then second is two so let me write this two here and then i have got here nothing so here here i have one and this is one is it right now if you think of d matrix d matrix is going to be zero why because b zero is zero it is very simple now let us think of ocf ocf in ocf if you see a ocf is nothing but a ccf transpose so let me just take the transpose now you must have understood how to take the transposes let us do that one more time first 
first row of this one will become first column of this so it becomes 0 1 0 similarly second row of this will become second column of this so it becomes 0 0 1 then the third let me take another color third row of this will become third column of this which means it becomes minus 3 minus 4 minus 2 is that right now if you think of B matrix, how is the B matrix going to be? B matrix is nothing but C transpose. So, so it is going to be C transpose, right? So, this is C and transpose of this. So, this row will become this column. So, it is going to become 1, 2, 1. Is it all right? Yes. Now, next is our C. If you think of C, C is going to be what? Yes, we know that since it is observable canonical form, then definitely it is going to observe only the last state. The rest is going to be 0. Or if you don't understand this, you can directly take the transpose of B. B transpose is also C. B in the sense B C C F, right? B C C F of C C F. This one transpose, you will get C. No problem. Then, what is next here? Next is D. What is D? Yes, D is going to be 0. Why? Because this D is 0. Or you can also say that because B naught is 0. So, these were the few examples related to the controllable canonical form and the observable canonical form. Thank you.